Hey gang, Rick here with Let's Level Up, and we have an actual, um, it's not going to be necessarily a, a giant review, but it is a giant item. This is the big geeky box of uh, Smash Up fame. So, um, one of the things I noticed after getting Science Fiction Double Feature is that all the all the actual card slots that came in the original uh, Smash Up box have been filled. Um, so, what uh, AEG has done is they've given us a big giant box. It's It's almost double um, double the height or the width of the box and uh, uh, again almost double the width um, it's just a really really big box and it has a lot of room for future expansions or if you have multiple copies of sets you can fit those all in here including the rule books for each and your tokens um, this is a pretty good buy um, it actually comes with a special faction the geeks faction uh, which is of the uh, show Tabletop fame. So you get cards like Felicia Day and Will Wheaton and then some Uber fan stuff as well. So it's a very nice niche. So we're going to look at that faction. I'll show you a bit of the components here in the box. Hope you guys like what you see. There's not going to be any afterthoughts here. So if you do like what you see, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, game on. All right, here we have the big geeky box. And as you can see, this is a really, really big product. Um, if I could just grab it up here, it is a huge box. In comparison, take a look at the original box. So it's got a probably it's 1.5 times the size. It is definitely way more thick if you can see it here. We've got another inch and a half or so there on the height wise. Um, so it's going to be a lot deeper and I'm going to be able to store a lot more stuff in here than I can within the original box. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open and take a look. That's the lid and you can see here I've got some uh, of the different rule books here. So, so the original rule book um, science fiction double feature, obligatory Cthulhu set, the monster smash and the expansion, and awesome level 9000. I've also got a little spot set up here where I just have all the different tokens, um, which is really nice. Um, you can see here I've got every different faction right here in the game that's been released yet. And I didn't even fill up one row, so there's plenty of other room to go around. Um, over here I've got a section for my madness and my bases and each of these is actually a really neat um, divider so you can see here this is just kind of the back of the card and it's just a nice base card um, these are nice a thick plastic which is really good um, let me get this in here and show you a little bit of the madness element as well so they've uh, taken that into consideration which is very very cool um, and then they have the same types of things for each of the different factions. So each faction gets their own unique divider. And again, it makes sorting through things a lot easier for me. So if I wanted to pull out and look, and you can see here I've got my super spies um, versus uh, the vampire. So each one has their own divider. And again, really nice quality, really thick quality, and so much more room to go. Look how much room we've got in there. It's, it's absolutely crazy the amount of room that we've got. Um, let's actually pop out and take a look at the latest expansion of the of the actual factions and take a look at some of the geeks um, because they are really really neat all right so the geeks are really neat uh, in their corner their faction identifier is going to be a meeple and a d6 which is which is cool you know very very geeky um, the first minion is a two power uh, minion called fan um, it has a special ability. It says, on your turn, you may discard this card from your hand to draw a card, um, which is neat. Um, when I was playing uh, Geeks, I thought they had a very blue magic vibe, um, if you're familiar with blue mana from Magic the Gathering. Um, lots of scry-esque abilities, draw cards abilities, rather, um, and different things that actually let you counter actions, which we'll talk about here later. Um, there's four copies of Fan here in the deck. Next up, we have three copies of the level three ability called the Game Guru. Again, this minion has an ongoing effect. It says this minion is not affected by other players' abilities. So it's a pretty solid three power minion to go on bases. And again, it's gonna be protected basically from other players' abilities, which is nice. Uh, we have a level four Felicia Day, uh, power four rather. It says move all minions to this base. So Felicia Day has a very, very um, 
uh, inspiring presence. I don't know the, of a better word to use, but every where she goes, all the geeks want to be. Not just the geeks, though. It's all minions. So every player's minions are going to move to the base where she is deployed. And it's just... Um, could could uh, could be have a lot of really interesting shenanigans um, here within this set, and then finally we have the Godfather Geek himself is another four power Mr. Will Wheaton. His special ability says you may play this minion when an opponent plays an action. Discard that action; it has no effect. So not only can you play Will outside of your turn as a special action, but you can play him to counter somebody's action. And that is a huge ability here. Absolutely great. He's got a great strength of having four and it's just all in all a really cool ability. Again, geeks are gonna provide a lot of really neat shenanigans like that. Let's take a look at some of the actions now. All right, first up, we're going to take a look at the card Banned List. There are two copies of this in the Geeks Faction. It says, for each other player, name a card and look at that player's hand. They must place any copies of that card from their hand at the bottom of their deck. So if you happen to know the other factions really well, um, this is a really neat card. And it affects each other player that you're playing. So there is a potential to get a lot of the level 5, um, you know, those, those max power uh, minions or those really super ultra actions out of the game or at least delayed from the game for a bit um, so you don't have to worry about them. Next up we have two copies of Rules Lawyer as well. It says transfer an action played at a base to another base or transfer an action played on a minion to another minion. Notice how it doesn't say your actions. Note how it doesn't say your minions. Um, so this is just a really good, again, lots of shenanigans here. Lots of ways for me to just take somebody's game plan and just make it flip right on their own head. Next card we have is called Mulligan. It says, look at the top five cards of your deck. You may draw them and shuffle the rest of your hand into your deck. So again, uh, a nice little uh, homage to games out there where we have to do mulligans. So <laughs> it's just one of those things, again, Smash Up's keeping the humor of their games, but it's also a very good way for you to be able to get more cards into your hand. Next up, we have Min Maxing. Look at your opponent's hand. You may play an action from that opponent's hand as an extra action. Just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Then we've got Control Minion. It says, choose a minion. You control that minion until the end of the turn. Special, play when another player plays a minion. You gain control of that minion until the end of the turn. So a great way for you to steal the base out from somebody when they think they absolutely have it. Play Control Minion and you'll take it. Here we have Non-Infinite Loop. It says, choose an action in your hand, play it as an extra action, and then you may put it back into your hand instead of your discard pile. So it's just a really cool way for you to kind of recycle actions. Um, as far as different factions that work well from here, there's a lot of action specific cards in here, a lot of canceling, a lot of control that happens with the geeks. They're gonna pair up well with a, a lot with uh, really nice things. I played Geeks Werewolves and had a great time doing that. Um, I think Geeks Steampunk, uh, Geeks Plants, Geeks Aliens, that will all be really, really good combinations. Uh, what are some of your favorites here to stack with the geeks? Let me know in the comments, please. And we've got cosplay. It's a special play when you gain a VP, uh, gain one or more VP, gain an additional victory point. So just a way for you to get more victory points, which is awesome. We have force of will. It's a special play when an opponent plays an action, discard that action, it has no effect. So this is again another great cancel that the geeks are going to get uh, in this form is an action rather than the minion. And finally the last card here at the geeks is the griefer card. Um, it's, a, it's another action of course and it says choose one effect for each player. That player either discards a random card 
or destroys one of his or her minions, or shuffles his or her discard pile into his deck, um, or his or her deck rather. So discard a card, destroy one of their minions, or have them shuffle their discard pile back into their deck. This is a way for you to essentially pick and really pick which option suits them the best. A lot of variety here. Unfortunately, there's only one griefer card in the faction, um, but I don't know if it'd be terribly balanced if there was more than one. Um, geeks are geeks are pretty OP. Um, I don't know um, if you guys are playing this a lot in your kind of tournament play or your, uh, your more competitive scene. Uh, let me know if you are, uh, because it, geeks just to me seems like it is very, very powerful. Um, that's going to do it here for the big geeky box review. Um, there's a lot of really great stuff in here. Again, I love the amount of content, or rather the amount of room that we're getting. Um, I love the different dividers. I think that components are just awesome. And the Geeks Faction is just so much fun to play. So if you're a fan of Smash Up and you have a lot of the expansions already, the Big Geeky Box is a no-brainer. Pick it up. Um, it's 20 bucks, 17 bucks, something like that if you can get it online. Um, if you're shopping local, it's probably more. Or 25 or 30 but again even that's a good price to support local business so uh, take a look at this i think you guys will enjoy it if you're a fan of smash up already please give us a thumbs up here on the channel subscribe if you haven't already but most importantly game on